Hi, I am Pradeep Kundarapu. I am going to explain basics of Kotlin coroutines in this video. To work on coroutines, we need to include Kotlin coroutines core in our class path. So in my case, I have Maven project. So I added this artifact in my pom.xml. Coroutines are something like lightweight threads. So they are cheap to create. We can create thousands of them with less performance impact on the application. Similar to threads, coroutines can run in parallel and they can wait for each other. Here I have a simple application with two lines of code. Uh, let's assume these two print elements are two different tasks. So I have a task one uh, with, which is brew or brewing coffee and task two which is like toasting a bread now these two tasks are running in sequential but we need to convert this program such that uh, these tasks will run in parallel so we will create a coroutine uh, to make them run in parallel we can use launch function of global scope to create a new coroutine So here the launch creates a new coroutine scope and the block of code uh, which we pass it to this function will be executed uh, on a new coroutine. The lifetime of this coroutine scope which we created here is limited only by the lifetime of the whole application because we created this scope on the global scope object. In real world applications tasks will take some time to execute. So to simulate that, I will write a thread.sleep statement here. Now this coroutine will take 500 milliseconds to execute. But if we run this code, we will not get this message on the console. That's because the main thread completes its execution and application will shut down. So this coroutine will not get the option to print its message. So to fix this, I will write a thread.sleep with 600 milliseconds so this coroutine will get some time to print its message so let's run this code so here we have a two tasks printed on the console let's add some thread related information to this print lens so we will get an idea of how coroutines work i'm just showing the thread name in the console So here you see the toast is executed by the main thread and the brew is executed by a worker thread. So this proves that coroutines are nothing but thread but they use thread pools internally. Okay, let me undo this code here. Here there is a problem with this line of code. We are calling a sleep. Sleep is a blocking call means thread will be blocked for 500 milliseconds. Assume if we have thousands of jobs running, then we cannot use this thread on those jobs. So instead of using blocked calls, we should use non-block calls. Coroutine provides a function called delay. So delay is a non-blocking call. Delay will not block the thread. Instead, it will release the thread to the thread pool. Now, for example, if there are thousands of jobs in the queue, then the thread will be available to execute. So after 500 milliseconds, it will request a new thread from the pool. Now the thread will continue its execution from this line. It's not a best practice to use a blocking code. So let's remove this line and update with delay. But we will get compile time error. It says that the suspend function delay should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function. So because we are calling this from the main thread, so that's why we are getting this error. So to fix this, we need to call uh, this delay in a coroutine scope. So we can use run blocking. Run blocking will create a new coroutine scope. The main difference between the run blocking and the launch is run blocking will block the main thread until it completes its coroutine 
inside it. Let's run this code to check the output. So there is no change in the output. So two tasks are executed. But uh, it is not a good practice to delay for a time uh, while other coroutines are executing. So instead of delaying, uh, we can use a job object and we can wait on it. Launch function returns a job object. So let's save that in a variable. Now let's replace this line with job dot join. Now let's run this code. We get the same output. So now instead of delaying for a time, we are waiting for the coroutine to complete its execution. Join function should be called only from a coroutine or suspend function, else we will get the compile time error like we got for the delay. Uh, but the code looks little bit messy uh, because we are using run blocking to just call the join function. So to fix this, we can make our run blocking as an entry point to our program. So here I move to the top level and all code is within the run blocking. Now we can call all non-blocking calls directly without having any new sub coroutine scopes. We can make small modification to simplify it because we have only single statement uh, within the main block so we can directly assign this uh, run blocking to the main function. Let's run this code. So here is the output. Right now we have only one job instance in our code. What if for example we need to add four more coroutines so in that case we will get four more job instances and also we need to join them at the end now the problem is our code will have lot of variables in it so the best solution is to use structured concurrency so in this case we no more need to have a global scope so we can remove this so no more need to maintain the job instance. So now the launch will create a new coroutine scope that will be part of run blocking instead of at the global level. Now let's run this code. We should get task 1 and task 2 in the console. Yes. So now let's add a new coroutine here. I'm running it. Now we should see three tasks in the console. So we no more need to have joins in our code uh, and the launch will uh, wait for all its sub coroutines to complete. Now I will remove this internal launch. Okay, so now it's always better to organize our code uh, using function. So let me move this code into a separate function. I will call this function as a brew. We will get compile time error because delay should be called from a coroutine or a suspend function. So we need to declare our function as a suspend. Then uh, we can call this brew from the launch. Now because brew is a suspend function, so it should it can be called only from a coroutine or other suspend function. And other feature of suspend is it can internally call other suspend functions. So here delay is a suspend function. If you go to the declaration of the delay, you can see that the delay is declared with the suspend keyword. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.